Hi friends. Up to now we have seen the promises introduction and also the chaining of the promises. Now we will see some built-in methods that are there in the promises. The two built-in methods we will check that, that those things. Now here, let's see. I am removing this all code. Okay, I am having one promise. One I will keeping. So I am creating a new promise of this one will take a function of it will be resolve and reject okay i will be having like this so it's a simple promise what i will try to do is same thing say timeout i will be having a function here and i will be calling here after one second okay it will send you resolve of resolve or something like this the message it will send you okay so in the same scenario i am creating another promise let's think i create another promise so it is a let it is a promise to it, it also it also creates a new promise and here after two seconds what i am trying to do is i am trying to send the reject okay rejected okay so this is the two promises so if you check here these are the two promises which is having so if we after one second this promise one will be resolved after two seconds this promise two will be resolved so now here in the promise okay promise so p capital promise you will be having one method known as all so you can send the list of promises promise one comma promise two okay so when these all the things are executed dot then I will be having the function okay I will be having the data so what I will do try to do is I will console.log of data I will try to print the data okay so this is the simple promise okay so now what I will do is so if any error is there I will try to catch the error so I will do so you can pass uh, for the then as a second argument also or otherwise you can use like this catch also so it's not a problem any anyways you can do so for the then also you can pass it as the uh, second argument right how what we have did in the first videos in the promise introduction so like that also you can send and like this also you can send so now here i am calling the error okay now what i will try to do is i will try to execute this one so if i try to execute this one i get the output as rejected why so first first promise is got resolved right so then why it is getting rejected why because promise dot all what it will do is it will check whether all the promises is resolved only so of if the all promises are success only then it will go to the then block if any one of the promise has got failed it will go to the catch block so all will do like this for example if i do this one also as a resolve okay so something like resolved two or something like this if i keep so let's check what it could be happen so now after two seconds sorry i have written wrong here okay so after two seconds what it will do it will return you the array of the data what what the two promises execute so result is the result two so it has written the data if any one of the promise is executed is rejected okay if any one of the promise is executed is rejected you will get the else block okay it will go to the catch block so you need to remember see in the in the all so that's very important in the promise dot all if all the promises are get success only then it will go to the then block if any one of the promise is rejected or it's got error it will go to the clash block in the same country in the same scenario you will have another one called as race okay promise dot race so what is this race okay so now here we will try to keep error so that rejected so that we don't have any confusion so now okay so race condition so in this scenario what will be the output we will see so now what we got the output as result so what is this one is doing is which one is first completed whether promise one or promise two which one is the first completed it will take that one as the prominent one and it will go to the uh, then uh, it will go to the then block if it is success or it will go to reject block if it is failed here promise one is the thing first it, it is it is a, it is the promise first completing so it in one second it is completing so it will take this one as the prominent if it is success means then it automatically goes into the then block so race condition the name itself means race so which one wins the race it will take that one as the 
success that one has the prominent and it will go into the then block for example if you have three seconds of this one so after two seconds what you will say getting rejecting so now if you check the output you will get the rejected thing why you are getting the rejected thing so second promise is completing the race first so that's why it, it is getting rejected so that's why it is going to the catch catch block whether the uh, another promise got success also it will not take the into consideration it will get into the this thing so or otherwise so this one is nothing but what we can say is all scenario so one promise is rejected means it will go to the rejected thing so this is the all scenario so race scenario is nothing but if any if, 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 if any promise which promise has been completed first if that one returns success means it will go into that success if that one returns error means it will go into the catch block so these are the two built-in promises methods all and race in the javascript so if you have any doubts or any suggestions so please post the comment to below to this video and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you